Hi, this is Rich with True Light Pools, and uh, today we're doing a little training video on uh, just understanding uh, how a pool operates. So this is uh, something I drew up, so just basic understanding of how the water flows. That's an important thing to understand, um, you know, for uh, if you're new to pools, a uh, new homeowner, or uh, one of my pool cleaners that I'm training then uh, sometimes that you know they, they know they've been in pools before but they don't exactly understand what all the parts of a pool are and how the water flows so especially when you look at the pool equipment then different plumbers plum and builders do it a little differently so um, but this will give you the basic understanding of just when you when you walk up to the pool equipment understand and follow the water flow and that's what i'm going to explain today so here uh then uh, here's the normal pool we have an attached spa and then what you're going to have are skimmers and then main drains the skimmers are the rectangular openings on the side of the pool and that skims sort of the top part of the water it brings the leaves and debris that that fall on on the surface of the water it brings it in there and tries to help keep the pool cleaner by while it's still floating the surface tension of the water it brings it into there and then puts it in some baskets that are in the skimmer you can empty the baskets out throw the leaves out the main drains sort of circulate the bottom section of the water in the pool there's usually two these are the drain covers on the bottom of the pool usually two of them down there and then there's water also uh, flowing through those to circulate sort of that bottom half of the water so usually have you're gonna have usually a one if if you have two skimmers on the pool it's common to have two skimmers on smaller pools they may only have one skimmer uh, the skimmer one is going to be the one that's closest to the pool equipment skimmer two is the one that's furthest away from the pool equipment that's how it's usually marked and then you have the return fittings um, and so those are the little things called I that look like little eyeballs on the sides of the pool that are called the return fittings and we'll talk about that in just a sec so let's think about how the water is flowing pulling from the pool uh, then you're usually going to have a pipe coming into the, the pool pump from skimmer one you're going to have another pipe coming all the way over from skimmer two and then you're going to have a, a pipe coming from the main drains coming into the front of the pump so we would look something like this coming out of the ground Usually that's the way it, it's uh, plumbed now. Uh, in the old times, sometimes they'd put the skimmer and the main drain together, which is does not good. You can't control anything. You can't get more suction when you're trying to vacuum. It's more common to uh, do it like this now. So you have a main drain, the pipe coming up, and then a skimmer one, and then skimmer two coming in. And this is going to be in front of the pool pump. This is kind of like if you were looking at it, and these little round circles are control valves so that you could turn off skimmer two. Let's say if you were vacuuming, uh, then you could turn off skimmer two and give yourself more suction into skimmer one if you had the vacuum hose in there. And then maybe even crank uh, the main drain down slightly if you needed more suction while you're vacuuming with a vacuum hose. This is coming in, they're tied together, and then there's a control valve here separating the spa side suction from the pool side suction. Um, and, and then it comes into the pool pump. So this, anything in front of the pump is called the suction side. That's what we've got it right here. So it's the suction side. It comes in from the front of the pump and out the top of the pump. Any pump that you look at, even a little booster pump, it always comes in the front of the pump and then out the top. Uh, and this is the suction side. So once it comes out of the top, then where does it go? It's going to go over here into your little dome-shaped thing that's called the filter. Uh, anytime you see a big dome-shaped thing there next to the pool pump that it's tied to with some plumbing, that's going to be your filter. And it's usually marked as well, unless the sticker fell off. Uh, and what does the filter do? Well, that's going to pull some debris and contaminants and stuff, uh, you know, out of the pool water, helps the, the pool water stay clean, and it also protects the heater and stuff downstream. You, it, you know, the pool pump can let some, some debris come past it, but then everything get, gets caught into the filter, and it's cleaning that water 
um, and there's several different types of filter and we won't go into all that here um, but it just basically the three types of filters is usually on commercial property they have a sand filter uh, residential properties usually have you can see a sand one every now and then but in this area we, we're going to have a uh, cartridge filter which has four cartridges in there that filter the water or a DE filter which is diatomaceous earth filter and that's the best filter for the, it's it filters down to the lowest micron and it has, gives, gives you the brightest cleanest water so it comes into the pool pump out the top comes to the filter it cleans it and then that clean water it sends to a heater if there is a heater on the system there's not always a heater on the system but if there is one it's going to come directly out of the filter and go into the heater and then you can see it come out of the heater and then now you're going to go to it's either going to be a salt cell pool so a salt water pool or you're going to have some sort of a chlorine tower the salt cell is usually mounted horizontally like this in the piping if it's a chlorine tower that's where you have the three inch tablets that you put in this little tower with a little control dial on it and then it slowly dissolves those tablets to give it some chlorine so filter heater you're going to have some sort of thing to give sanit uh, to sanitize the water some sort of sanitizer that's going to be your chlorine or the free chlorine from a salt cell that's released and then now it's ready to go back to the pool this is your suction side into the front of the pump and then after the heater and the sanit uh, the sanitizer that you grab now it's the return side of the plumbing ready to go right back to the pool and where does it go it comes back to these pool returns usually you're going to have five or six of them in the um uh, in the pool i should have drawn a couple of more over here uh little little eyeball things right on the side uh, of the walls and that's where it's shooting back into the pool usually through those um the pool returns so that's the flow of the water uh it it, it comes in to the pump from the skimmers and the main drain then it goes through this section it goes through these different uh, pieces of equipment and then here's the return side it's shooting it back over here uh, to the pool uh, one more thing to explain is uh, sometimes the, the, there's a dedicated line on the pool side that is going to send water continually to the spa and because we want the water to, to be fresh in the spa, if we never sent any water there, it would stagnate and not be good. And so, uh, so there, there's gonna, when it comes back, it's gonna mostly go to through the pool returns. There might be one day de dedicated line that goes to the, to the spa to give it fresh water. The last thing to understand is what about if you change the valves and whenever you want to heat just the spa well instead of this whole big body of water then you want now you want to instead of 25,000 gallons or something now you want to heat this 800 gallons in the spa well how do you do that well you're going to change this valve right here that's usually set to cut off the spa for the suction and there's another valve over here on the return side that cuts off the spa return usually it just depends on how they plumbed it and now you want to switch those valves when you think spa you want to cut everything off poolside so now I'm going to switch this valve turn it around and everything the main drain skimmer one skimmer two that's all cut off now I only want to pull water from the spa only and then I'll change a valve over here on the return side so that I only I don't send it back to the pool at all I'm going to only draw water from the spa and send water back to the spa now I've sort of made this a small little pool if you will I'm only pulling water here I come filter it heat it that's when you're usually using it um, and then I'm going to directly return it back to the spa uh, and that's in spa mode this right here normal operations in pool mode spa mode when you think spa mode everything pools cut off I'm only pulling from the spa and then returning to the spa so that's the basic operation of how a pool works and how a spa works but for now you definitely uh, need to understand how the, the water flows through the system that's a basic understanding that you have uh, have to have as you're starting to deal with pools thanks